basketball fans, it's the event we've all been waiting for. Well, at least I know these two guys have been waiting for it since September when we first started talking about it. And we thought it was going to be in the Seacoast basketball tournament, but the event got canceled. But it will not cancel this matchup of heavyweights. The Fighting McIsaacs, coached by Justin McIsaac against NH Sports Page, coached by Dave Haley. My name is Pete Terrier. I got Jen Chick on the other side of the video camera. We got a veritable all-star cast on both sides here. Some of the best players in the state of New Hampshire. The one question is, will both teams score over 100? I think it's going to happen. Will there be any defense played? Dave, you answer that question. Seldomly, but we'll get some. Listen, our, our offense is so good. Our kids can score from anyone. We're going to shoot in rhythm. I hope Justin McIsaac's team can hang in with us tonight. It'd be, it's nice that they're here. I appreciate them showing up. And Justin, you're not just going to roll over for Dave, are you? Sorry, was he done talking? I'm so bored of hearing about it for the last year. Now listen, do I think the other teams are cowards and got the Seacoast tournament canceled because they were afraid of us? Yes, I do. I think they're cowards. Do I think this man has been bloviating for 12 months about this game? Yes, I do. Do I think he's going to get his comeuppance? Yes, I do, P. Terrier. That's his best wrestling uh, intro right there. Go it's a best here. of three series here. Game one tonight. We got game two on Saturday night. Game three, TBD, if necessary. It's NH Sports Page against the Fighting McIsaacs, and it's on NHSportsPage.com. It is no good, and the rebound is taken down in the corner by Glenn. Glenn's going to drive the baseline, shut off by Connolly. Glenn passes it. Leroy off the window, scores, and NH Sports Page back on top. Four to three. Glenn's going to push it up with the dribble over the timeline. Glenn pulls up, free throw line, jumper, rattles it home. Showing the game, that jump shot that Jim Mulvey probably wouldn't let him take during the regular season. But this isn't the regular season, and he'll take it now. Left hand side, it's Connolly. Connolly got stripped by Graham. Graham up ahead, Leroy. Leroy trying to beat Morris set to the basket, and he does. Lays it in, and it is a 10 to 3 lead for N8 Sports Page. A little run to open this thing, just like Justin McIsaac feared. With it, middle of the floor, right side, Kerr. He's going to take a three. And Zach Kerr is two for two from beyond the arc. He's got all six of their points. It's 10 to six. Brown, he'll take a straightaway three and nails it. Keith Brown takes a look at the fighting McIsaac bench. Was that directed at the fearless leader, Justin? 15 to 10. Here's Holmes, left corner, Kerr, another three on the way, it's good. Kerr is stroking it from downtown, 15-13, and Zach Kerr has nine of those 13 points. And eight sports page back on top by five. Fighter McIsaac's yet to go to their bench. Here's Connolly on the drive, scoops it up, it's rejected by Olsen. Primo's gonna bring it up. Gets it across the timeline, left side, Walsh. Walsh stepped out on by Rizzo. Walsh goes past him to the basket. Rejected by uh, Ben Olsen. To Cal Connolly. Connolly's going to push it up. Connolly feeds Walsh. Long three. Left side. Good. Connor Walsh sticks the three. And it's a two-point game again. 2018. First three for Walsh. Bounce pass. Low block. Brown. Brown working against Primavera. Scored in the foul. Keith Brown with a three-point play opportunity. Long three is no good. Brown the rebound. Brown's going to push it. Brown's going to dribble through the defense. He's going to lay it up, and it falls through. Keith Brown taking it all the way in. 25 to 18, seven-point lead. Here's a steal by Rizzo. Left-hand side. It's Graham for three, and Cody Graham drains the three. Missed the shot. Connolly just got in the way enough to bother the shot. And here comes Roy the other way. Left side Walsh for three. And Walsh puts another one down. And it's 31-21. Back to a 10-point lead for N8 Sports Page. Jalen Leroy is going to bring it inbound to Rizzo. They've got Graham and Glenn out there along with McDonald. Leroy missed it. Glenn with the follow and it drops home. Joey Glenn with the follow shot. Open three left side is no good. Holmes tips the rebound to Kerr. A couple of lookalikes there, Holmes and Kerr. Kerr down the lane, lefty finish is good. Zach Kerr showing he can hang with the best in the state. Just like he did all year long with Merrimack. Holmes feeds it to Cody. Cody's going to drive left baseline. Cody to the basket, blocked by Brown. He says, get that Division I stuff out of here, kid. Jack. 
Wojak feeds it to Holmes. Holmes, long three, straight away. It's good. This kid can heat it up in a hurry. Six point game, 39-33, NH Sports page. Brown trying to answer at the other end, and he does. It's 42 to 33, back to a nine point NH Sports page lead. Right hand side, Morris set for three, it's good. Three straight threes, two for the Fighting McIsaacs, one for NH Sports page, and it's 42-36. An 11 point lead again for NH Sports page, 47-36, final two minutes of the half. Wojak for three, and that one is good. Andrew Wojak sticks to three, 47-39. Graham with it, right side, pulls up for three. It's good. One team hits a three on one end, the other team right back at you the other way. 50 to 42. I don't think anybody's fouling out of this game. I don't think uh, Mr. Romick is gonna foul anybody out here. He's doing the scoring. Here's McDonald for three, and McDonald hits the three. It's 56-39, the lead is 17. Kicks it to Graham, Graham has it left side, feeds it inside McDonald, he kicks it up top to Leroy. Leroy's gonna drive to the basket, no, the tip by Glenn is good, and the foul, Connolly fouled Glenn, and Joey's got a chance for the and one three-point play. It's 59-39, the route is on, opening moments of this second half. Walsh feeds Connolly for three right side, it's good. Cal Connolly says, hey, the Spalding Red Raiders wouldn't give up. We're not giving up here. The Fighting McIsaacs are back in the game. And Rizzo doesn't get the bounce, Connolly the rebound. Holmes with the fast dribble to the basket, scoops it up off the window. It's good in the foul. Brian Holmes. We got the Spalding Red Raiders, the, the student body coming out tonight to the Connie Bean. Not much going on in Rochester tonight, I guess. Got into the hands of Walsh. Walsh directing traffic. Walsh gonna drive the lane, spin move, gets Leroy in the air. Olsen came over and swatted him, but a foul called either against Jalen. I think it's Jalen by the reaction. His teammate Rizzo. Rizzo on the baseline, feeds it. Olsen, take the three, big boy. Oh, it's no good. Tipped up ahead. Olsen rejects Trickett and then almost goes out the door, him and Romick. In the corner, it's no good. Wojak on the three, and here comes Brown. Uh, outlet, rifles the pass to Glenn, and Glenn scores. What a pass by Keith Brown. 63-46, leads back to 17. to 48, 10-20 left to go. Here's Kerr, rifles a bounce pass, rejected by Romick, stuffed Wojak, and then it went out of bounds into the hands of Wojak, so it's NH Sports page ball. And the rebound to Romick, right hand side, Glenn, won't take a three, he's gonna scoop to the basket, it's rejected by Connolly. Here's Primavera, kicks it right side, Morissette's three, is good. Cody Morissette cuts it down to 19 points, 70 to 51, nine and a half minutes to play. McDonald with it into the front court. McDonald has two threes in a row. Here's number three. It's good. I told you. He heats up. Get the fire hoses out because he is on fire. 79-55. Kerr for three. And Kerr puts it down. Quiets this raucous NH Sports page crowd. 79-53. And it's no good. Olsen, though, there for the follow. Couldn't get it to go. And Walsh comes up with it, heading the other way. Walsh down the lane, rejected by Ben Olsen. Walsh says, hey, where's the foul? Leroy the rebound, 4.15 to play. Leroy working against Holmes. Leroy to the basket, flips it up and in. Jalen Leroy showing the moves that made him the Division I Player of the Year for Central. 93 to 63, Trickett wild lead is 23. A minute 35 left, Brown behind his back with a dribble, between his legs, Brown to the basket, lays it in. Connor Walsh says, I didn't know a Division Three kid could do that. Yes, he can. 
97 to 72. Minute 20 left to go. Leroy the rebound. Will they go over the century mark here? Leroy to the basket. Rejected by Connolly. He's not going to let it happen. Here comes Walsh. He got fouled from behind. And the putback jam by Trickett. It will not count, but it looked real pretty. Here's Primavera, the corner. Holmes for three is good. 101 to 76, final eight seconds. Will they get another shot off? It's McDonald just over half court. It will not go, the putback. Rizzo, no. McDonald with the follow, count it. The final score, NH Sports page, 103. The Fighting McIsaac, 76, game two on Saturday night. Here with the NH Sports page all-star team, 103 to 76, victorious over the Fighting McIsaac of Justin McIsaac. Dave Haley, our fearless leader, has assembled an all-star cast here, and it was very impressive. You guys probably didn't spend much time practicing together, maybe five minutes before this game started, but you still look like a well-oiled machine. We'll go down the line. We got Joey Glenn, Keith Brown, Jalen Leroy. We got Evan McDonald, Tommy Romick, Big Ben Olsen, Matt Rizzo, and Cody Graham over here. Now, Keith told me that since he's the Gatorade Player of the Year, back-to-back -back champion in Division Three, he's been talking to me for four years throughout his career at Pelham. Evan McDonald's going to speak for him tonight. So I want to ask you, you guys are Division I players. You don't get a lot of chance to play against Division Three guys. Did he impress you tonight with the skills that he showed that he can hang with the big boys in New Hampshire high school basketball? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, he played well tonight. He played all right. Uh, he's, he's a pretty good player. I mean, for us Central, like, we wanted to play Pelham. We wanted to play Portsmouth. Like, we wanted to challenge ourselves and see how good they were. Uh, Keith's, Keith's an all right player. All right, I'll give you that. I think he's okay. Now, Jalen, you're coming off uh, the championship like Evan. Are you still, I'm not saying hangover in the literal sense. Hopefully you'll wait three more years to find out about those things. But how's it been in the, uh, the post-championship uh, era for you at Central? Are you guys walking the school like Kings? Um, I mean, a little bit. I mean, there was a lot of people at the game. So whenever we see somebody in the hallway, me and Evan, we kind of get some love. Let's talk to you, Joey. You uh, had a couple of fast break baskets. He threw you some nice, you know, uh, baseball style passes. How did you kind of like playing with these Division One and then the one Division Three player, knowing that you guys are going up to D1 next year? Yeah, you know, it's a great opportunity to play with these guys. And, you know, um, I know I've been knowing from freshman year, you know, um, Keith has been a great player uh, playing against him since I was a freshman. And, um, you know, it's just great to finally get to get it get together with these guys and play against each other. Alright, let's come down here and uh, we'll talk to Matt Rizzo. Uh, Matt, you had a chance to play with two of your Pinkerton teammates. I know Brennan was, was going to be here, but he wasn't able to come tonight. How fun was it to get out there on the court with these guys one last time? Oh yeah, it was great. Early um, Since we exited early from the tournament, it was uh, it was great playing with these guys again. We, um, I mean, we played in the. I mean, Brennan played in the senior game the other night, like a couple weeks ago. But that was fun. And then, um, yeah, it was just good to get back with these guys again for one last time. And Ben, you know that you're going to be remembered on the video highlights for missing a jam. How can you explain that one? Just didn't fall. Just didn't. And you missed a three-pointer. I was so hoping. Uh, I did see that. I was so hoping that you made that three. And you too, Joey. So we could send the tape to your coaches and say, see, coach, I really can shoot the three. Yeah, but I made it up with the block. If you don't, you got to put that in there. Hey, I'm not in charge of the highlight packages, you guys. It's Jen Chick, so lobby her. Cody, uh, one, one for you here. You guys won a championship. What's it been like? You know, I know the disappointment last year. I'll never forget the scene at the end of that video from the Brady game where they're celebrating in the middle of the floor and then you're kind of out there like in a daze like you, the way you lost that must have been such a, a different feeling this year winning it. Yeah you know last year was tough but this year you know we came back 22-0 we went undefeated and it was it was a great win for us in the championship and all the Portsmouth kids are looking forward to D1 next year and it's going to be exciting. Yeah we're looking forward to seeing you up there. Alright Romick one last chance for you to get this right because you froze like a deer in the headlight. The two opportunities that I interviewed you and your brother, your brother like did some kind of loop of you freezing like a d Keith Brown, when he was a freshman, all right, he wasn't the best interview in the world, all right? He's real good, so you got, you got one last chance. How about your last hurrah playing basketball with some of these guys? I mean, it must have just been a lot of fun for you. I'll keep it short and sweet. I had a blast. 
There you go. There you go. That's all you got to say. NHSportsPage.com. Do you guys even think you need to play these guys one more time? Because I think it's unnecessary. No need. Victorious tonight. NHSportsPage.com. Give it up for yourself, guys. Great year.